So by marijuana being a female-based plant, and when you consume it, it's considered sex. It's considered a sex contract. See, this is why the females who smoke a lot of weed and stuff like that, when the females, even when they don't smoke weed, you notice they come around. See, it's not just the scent and the fact that it smells good, but it's the fact that when you consume it, you're taking in a female, a feminine-based plant, and you're having what's called a sexual energy exchange or a sacral energy exchange. And this is for a lot of males that may be single or things of that nature. This is a way for you to remedy a lot of the problems that come with living a single life. So the females know this, so what the females will do is that they will begin to regulate. See, the females regulate the weed because it's a marijuana. Marijuana is a feminine-based plant. So the females know this, and what they'll do is right, they'll begin to regulate it by subconsciously um, coming around during certain times. So if you're not used to doing marijuana as some form of a ritual, you're going to notice that the females kind of like the way they smoke the weed, and you know what I'm saying, on the, they, they smoke it on a different level because like if you're not doing it in ritual or some form of a format, as a male, the females are going to try to control especially females that smoke it, they're going to try to control how you consume it, especially like your, your wife or females that are close to you because they know that not only is it a herb, you know, that's good for um, as far as connecting with the feminine principle on a spiritual level and from a kundalini level, but it also raises your libido and females know this, so they know that when they man is on marijuana, they have to um, do a lot more sexually to regulate that energy as it comes up or whatever because that's what it's designed to do so what i do is that i use marijuana um as a service as well like i don't just do it to get high like some people look at it i don't do it to see visions and things of that nature either as some people may look at it like when i um consume marijuana whether i'm smoking it or whatever the case may be i'm doing it as a ritual and as a service for to service a sex contract because on the flip end when you're partaking of sex, drug-free, minus the marijuana, you're opening yourself up to certain beings that can visa you. So what they can do is that they can view you when you having sex. They can view you through what's called your testosterone or your estrogen and your yeast. This is what it is, and your sweat. And they can begin to track you through this. But what happens is, is that when you use marijuana, and this is a secret in a ritual form, I'm not gonna tell you, the combinations, there's a certain ritual you do it and you use it in a certain way, you can shield, it acts as a shield to shield yourself from and your woman. This is very important, your woman from being visa and her vagina from being visa and tracked by disagreeable beings. So this is very important. So like, don't take marijuana for granted. It was smoke, it wasn't just used in what you call recreation or to recreation. Marijuana has not only just a medicinal use, that it was made for ritual. And people that are partaking in sex, and partaking in not just even sex ritual, but just regular, even flat out sex, you're running a risk, a high risk of being monitored and tracked by higher beings, and not only just beings, but higher secret intelligence agencies that will track you based upon your sexual folder is what it's called. And your sexual folder consists of the amount of times that you have certain energy exchanges and sex. And not only that, it creates a tag for you and your partner. So when you have sex with someone, you and that person are connected until you either A, do a certain ritual to sever the connection or you have to wait a certain period of time. So marijuana was used essentially to break that contract in a swift manner when you use it. And you use it in remedy and in ritual and it's designed to totally break a contract that may have took a sexual contract and an agreement, because you gotta remember, sex is an agreement. That's why it's used by the ex, it's a signature. And it's used to secure and guard a sexual contract and the signature of a sexual contract from disagreeable beings that can visa you through the internet, through television, through ads, all based upon what's called your sexual folder. And we're gonna talk about eventually how that ties into algorithms and how they can use your sexual folder to essentially <clears throat> visa you through what's called algorithms. They can monetize off of you having sex, turn you into a hole because you don't control yourself physically and you're not a sovereign, meaning that you don't control 
not only just control it, but you don't have a log or account or a way to track your sexual photo. You don't understand it. So what's going on right now is that the feds are controlling the average sexual folder and the average person is being controlled by the federal um, government and by the feds and by the NSA because they're the ones that keep the record and they use the internet and unique algorithms and Google and the NSA to keep track of what we're doing through sex. So um, when I come around and do certain rituals and things of that nature, like everything I do is a ritual. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when I come around and if I'm smoking the good ganja and things of that nature, like I'm doing it as a ritual. I'm not just doing it to look funny or to look cute and things of that nature. And I know a lot of people do use weed and things of that nature and they feel like the way they use it is so exclusive and things of that nature. But I'm not here to try to compete with anyone or nothing like that. But I do have a pretty nice financial agreement with marijuana as far as um, sales are concerned. And I do keep a log and a track. And I, when I'm talking about sales, like I'm not talking about selling pounds and all of that. Like I essentially can make money off of sales. I'm not gonna tell you exactly how, but I can sell based upon what's called the sexual contract in any area. So what happens is that I can visa the satellites in that area and the satellites in that area to protect that area from being visa through sex. I protect these women in these different areas from being visa in their vagina, from being visa in their penis, which is a wand, from being monitored, tracked, and visa, and then possibly even taken from you. See, if you're not doing certain medicinal drugs and things of that nature, you have no protection against that. You have absolutely no protection against that. And not only that, even if you are using them, if you're not doing it in what's called a sequence or some form of a ritual or some form of an alchemical spell or some form of a rhythm, you're just wasting money. So if you're out here just smoking weed, I'm just doing it all willy nilly, and you don't have an account or some form of a log that you're keeping, you're wasting money. You need to learn what you're doing. Stop competing and trying to look good doing this stuff smoking this weed and really learn how to do it in ritual and get some serious money off of it because it's a million dollar industry like as a shaman as a shaman i can use marijuana and ritual and do rituals where marijuana becomes worth six figures and things of that nature in the rituals and it's worth six figures easily as a shaman but it's about gaining control of it and control of the plant and controlling it by putting your energy and your DNA on it, breaking it down and remembering it's a female plant and it's a sex contract. And you treat her as that. She is one of the herbs and we pay homage to her. So I'm gonna say I shave to the marijuana. I just want to kind of put this episode out because um, I've talked about how I was against marijuana on this channel, like on you know episodes before this or whatever and things of that nature. And my views have now grown and my followers have now grown. And I think that a lot of followers are now getting older and ready to kind of like engage in what's called the X contract and then marijuana is the majority of it is legal anyway like across the states or whatever and the sales of it is legal as long as you're doing it off the radar and you're not using you know what I'm saying credit cards and things of that nature the sales and everything is totally off the grid or whatever so you know what I'm saying essentially marijuana is essentially the plant that we need essentially to break the spell of these sexual deviants and these sexual misfits that's coming in through our crown chakra and through our bodies and fucking with our kundalini. You have no remedy from it because you don't believe in recreational drugs. And you believe that herbs and things like that are gonna protect you from these guys and you don't realize that all the herbs, if they're regulated and not banned, are already controlled by them. The reason why marijuana is banned is because they don't have a full control of it. You notice that the marijuana they control, they lower the THC level on it. So the THC level is a lot lower in marijuana that's controlled and regulated. And the marijuana that's not only regulated, the THC level is high because that's the shit that's gonna really get you high. And that's the contract. And that's what you were interfacing with when you use the weed and the good herb and shit like that. So um, pay homage to it, respect it. Like I say, when you use it, you know it's, it's a commodity. It's worth something. It's worth more than money. It's more, worth more than cash. That's what I'm getting at. Do you respect that? As always, namaste. Good vibes. Irie.